What we have here is a Sears Electronics Wake Message Center. Model number, it's on here somewhere, there it is. 10851. Uses 10 watts from the wall. It's a home entertainment device rather than a clock radio, which I think is kind of interesting. A2007-9. Yeah, I don't think this was made in 2007. But I could get quite the surprise. I just don't think it was, considering it's a wood-grained clock radio with a cassette deck. You can see all the controls there. There's no pause control. It will feature the ability to record because, of course, it does have the message, <clears throat> the message uh, functionality. There's your snooze button or drowse, as they call it. Fast and slow. I hope that was unlocked. It was okay. There's a playback button. Uh, that will turn on the uh, the radio as well, depending upon what it's set to. We'll look at that in a second. We have a dimmer switch. I think the switch is a little dirty, that's why it's uh, doing that. I know this switch is. The alarm and the radio, that's for the wake functionality. There's a wake set. And there's your sleep set, which I accidentally just turned on and now I gotta turn it off. Alright, so now that that's off, there's the message. I'm not really sure how the message on these things works, so I guess if somebody can uh, Leave a comment below and explain that a little bit. That would be grateful. Here's your tuning switch here. Tuning knob, I should say. There's your volume control. And this is your selector between FM, AM, and the cassette. If you play that, the speaker is right here, of course. And on the back, there is this weird thing here called beat. I don't know what that means. If I turn it on... Well, nothing really seems to happen. There's an auxiliary, I don't know if that's an output or an input, microphone, there's remote control for the cassette deck, and an audio, again, I don't know if that's an input or an output. But as far as the, uh, the unit itself goes, that is pretty much it. So we'll go ahead and we'll turn on the radio. Here you can see the backlight. For the dial, it actually looks like it's intact, which is odd. Usually it's not. Raise the volume a bit. And we'll start our band scan. We're on the FM band. It's way off in terms of band. And they won't go back to the emerge because they're just. Way off. Yeah, because that's 105. So, yeah, this is way off. Well, maybe not. It's very interesting. Okay, we'll switch it over to AM.
comfortable. It's made with a water-based gel. <laughs> And uh, I would imagine See, it's great. Yeah. You are learning about Ayurveda. Well, it's actually doing fairly well. Unless something's changed, there's only two local stations in what we've just heard right now. That's it. The ugly truth about time, sir. If you think you it's never too late. Allergy, and that's taking a lot of immune time away. Also local. Tight. Yeah, so there you go. So what we're going to do next is we're going to find a cassette and we'll go ahead and we'll play a tape and see if it will actually play. Spoiler alert, I don't think it will. Oh, yeah, just because I think you can see very clearly it's got a problem there. Oh, the fast forward seems to work. So does the play. So I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I think as you can see quite clearly, rewinding is definitely not a thing. At all. Fast forwarding works. And playback seems to work as well. I don't dare play any more of that, just because it will probably get my video muted. And that's going to do it for this video of the Sears. What was the model on this? 10851? Yes, 10851. Wake Message Center Clock Radio Cassette Deck. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And this is CP686 signing off. Hope to see you next time. Till then.